Hey, how's it going? It's Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com. We're on the B chord, B major. We're going to get on it right away. Find out how to get around that problem B major chord. I'll tell you, it's a problem. Um, a couple little things that you should know before I show you the chord is that it's based on an A major chord. One of the B majors is, anyways. This is A major. And it's actually barred up. And I'm sure you've seen this in guitar books. If you haven't, well, this is a common way. I don't like this form at all. You can see I feel awkward with it when I play it. Like if this is A major, then this is B major, right? You'll see the same chord. You know, use different fingers, obviously. If your first, second, and third fingers are stronger, the strongest ones, you're going to use that to play an A. And I, I use the pinky to embellish the A. But when we move up, we need an extra finger because we have to move all the strings up. Uh, equally or it's not the same chord relation anymore. This is a chord I really dislike. I rarely use it. It's too awkward for me. My fingers are kind of thick and I barely can, at the fourth fret I can barely get all my fingers in place. You can switch it around. You can play it a few different there's a few different styles of fingerings. I don't like any of them. Uh, that's kind of up to you but I want you to realize that the chords coming from A. You see it's really just the A major moved up and that becomes a B major. That's an awkward chord for me. I don't like it at all. Now my solution to it is, well, I bar it, but instead of playing those three strings with three separate fingers, I kink bar it. Ouch! This takes uh, quite a bit to, uh, uh, to get onto. I, I find my students have the uh, hardest time getting this chord down is probably the most difficult, but very, very practical, especially if you're planning to move the chord around and bar up the fretboard, because it's a real good uh, chord to know, because I certainly can't get my fingers into that chord up here at all. You know, because this chord's movable, eh? Just take the pattern and move it up, and you've got, you know, 12 different chords, but I know we're talking about the B major, but I'm just telling you that it's easier if you move the chord pattern up sometimes up to the higher fret position and work it there and then slowly work your way down to a B major. Because the B major is really close to the nut and it takes a lot of strength to do it. So this is one way to kind of strengthen up a bit before you get down to that second fret string tension. Once you get that, then the trick is that I'm kink barring the uh, uh, fourth, third and second string, but I'm, and this is why they call it kink bar, because you'll notice my third finger here just on the first string is kinked up enough to miss it from this finger and catch it with the bar. And so I get this B major chord from it. Okay? Now there's some other secrets to playing the bar, like especially you're going to have a struggle with this kink bar. I've got another, uh, I've got another uh, B major chord too for you folks that are real beginners. I'll show you that in a second. It's based on this. There is a way around it. Um, but really, this is the chord you should know. Part of the technique is your wrist and your forearm on your left hand. You kind of have to roll that finger into place. Some guys have to tilt their hand a little too. For each, it's slightly different. You have to find that sweet spot where you can make those strings work together. You're barring with your first finger, you're getting the fifth string and the first string. With your third finger, you're getting the fourth, third, and second string, right? And that's just like moving the A major up. It's like playing this, which I have a hard time playing, or this, which I prefer. That's B major. Okay? Um, the other trick is that, you know, I showed you before this horrid chord that I don't like. This is B major. Well, we can take the fourth string out because it's a repeat of notes. And you can play a three string B major like this if you're a real beginner. Like, I mean, I'll use this B major, but it'll be a, for a totally different application than strumming because it's only three strings, right? This B major is strummable because you got four strings. And so is this one. And I use all six for an extra bass note. But the root of the chord. The root of this chord is the fifth string root. So that's a B and this is the major form, so that's B major, right? 
Okay, you got that? All right, remember, use for your bar, I'm using the edge of my finger. And if, you're, if you take your hand and turn it so your thumb's facing you, and you look at the edge of your finger, it'll be to your right, just a little to the right of the middle of the edge of your finger that you want to sit that bar, right? So I'm rolling my finger over, uh, I guess counterclockwise a bit. Uh, this is flat, and this is the way I've got it. Again, this is flat, and this is, I roll it back, and I use my thumb at the back. Like if I put my thumb here, it's too hard to keep my bar finger in the right place. It forces it in a different direction. What I really want to do is force my first finger to catch all six strings in case I want to change the chord I'm doing or modify it. Then I've got the rest of the bar behind me backing me up. You know, there's all these different forms based different That B major. It's a hard one, kink bar, but it's a real good one to know. Highly recommend it. If you can get that kink bar down and one other chord, this one here, you got the B major's nail, nail down. Um, this is an E major. If you've seen this before, all we're going to do is we're going to switch fingers. We're going to use, instead of using first, second, and third fingers, we're going to use second, third, and fourth fingers. Same pattern, same strings, same fingering. Now we're going to use the first finger as a bar and we're going to start moving it up. That's your good old F major 7th, which every, or F major, which everybody uh, struggles with. This is a G major, this is an A major, and guess what? This is a B major. You may have an easier time reaching this B major. It's still a rich sounding chord. You're higher up on the fretboard. If you're playing an acoustic, you're probably better off to try and reach for one of these. I, I prefer this one, even on an acoustic, I like it because it has a richness because of all six strings. That's up to you, right? This is B major. So it's the same theory again with the uh, fretboard, um, with your bar finger using the edge of your finger, tucking in close to the fret, not back too far, that's too far back, like snuggle up to it so that almost the edge of your finger is on the bar itself or on the uh, fret itself. So this first finger that's barring, um, you'll see it just about cover, just the edge of the finger, the side edge of the finger is just about covering the fret. And my thumb is centered behind the neck with this position, centered with this position, right? It's not wrapped around like this with the thumbs wrapped around. If you're Jimi Hendrix and you got fingers that are like three inches longer than mine, you might be able to do that. But most of the time, if you're struggling with the bar cord, it's because your fingers aren't super long or they're not strong. And this is the way to get onto it. Okay, so you just put your third and fourth finger down on the fifth and fourth string, right? Just like an E minor down here. It's just, picture this is your nut, and this is the E minor form. There's your nut right there, right? And now you have to put down your E minor. There's E minor, look, there's your nut. There's a fret in between it, right? Here's your nut, there's a fret in between it. You gotta keep the same relationship. Okay, that's B minor, so, or that's B minor, that's B major, right? That's B major, that's B minor, these are all the B's, right? B major, B major. We've got the three string B major. That's the easy one. You can strum it, but it's, it's weak compared to the B major here. And the B major here. So you see, it doesn't matter whether we're related to minor or major. Still the same technique, but this is the B major. This is the E major moved up to the B major. There's my E major, right? This is chord everybody should know. Same with the E minor, right? Those two chords. Like, if you don't know what an E major is, it's an E minor with your first finger down on the third string. That might help a bit, related that way. And then it's just moved up. I just switched fingers instead of using my first, second, and third fingers here, first, second, third. I'm using my second, third, and fourth, and I bar it and move it up. You know, so if this is E, then this is F, then this is G, then this is A, there's B. What do you know? Seventh fret, folks, seventh fret. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a B major. All right. Um, uh, that's a little hint of what you can find on my website, riffninja.com. Um, if you've learned something great, that's what I wanted you to do. Good luck with your B major chord. And uh, happy picking, strumming, and uh, we'll see you soon. It's Colin Daniel from Riff Ninja. Over and out. Mm -hmm.